Hello my little learners today we are going to explore chapter 8 a journey through states of water from your class 6 curiosity textbook but before we begin with the questions and answers let's first understand the summary of this chapter to know the main ideas and takeaways so basically water is a wonderful substance that can exist in three states solid liquid and gas and this chapter helps us understand how water changes from one state to another through processes like melting freezing evaporation and condensation the process of conversion of water into its vapor state is called evaporation the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid state is called condensation water is found in different states solid liquid and gas water changes its state on heating or cooling conditions which make the evaporation faster or slower are exposed area humidity air movement etc evaporation causes cooling effect the water vapor in the air condenses to form tiny droplets of water which appear as clouds many tiny water droplets come together and fall down as rain hail or snow the circulation of water between the earth surface and atmosphere is known as the water cycle we have used the process of observation questioning possible reason and experimenting to find out the concepts of evaporation and condensation in this chapter let us enhance our learning question number 1 is which of the following best describes condensation and options are the conversion of water into its vapor state so the conversion of water into its vapor state is evaporation not condensation option 2 is the process of water changing from a liquid into gaseous state so liquid to gaseous state is evaporation again option 3 is the formation of clouds from tiny water droplets it is evaporation again option 4 is the conversion of water vapor into its liquid state so students option 4 is the correct answer because the process of conversion of water vapor into its liquid state is called condensation question number 2 is identify in which of the given processes evaporation is very important coloring with crayons water colors acrylic colors and pencil colors so we know water colors are liquid paints that contain water as a medium when we apply them to paper the water needs to evaporate for the color to dry and fix on the surface so evaporation plays an important role in drying the color so option b water color is the correct option next writing on paper with a pencil b ink pen on and c ball point pen so we know ink pen uses liquid ink which spreads on the paper and then dries due to evaporation of the solvent usually water or alcohol so option number b ink pen is the correct option question number 3 is we see green colored plastic grass at many places these days space around natural grass feels cooler than space around the plastic grass can you find out why so students i will show you two types of answers long type and short type you can decide which one to write depending on the marks of the question first i will explain the long type answer so that you understand the concept in detail then i will show you how to shorten it while keeping the same meaning this will help you write quickly and correctly in your exams so listen carefully so the space around natural grass 
feels cooler because natural grass and the soil beneath it contain moisture during the day when sunlight falls on the grass water present in the leaves and soil starts evaporating evaporation requires heat energy and this heat is taken from the surroundings causing the air around the grass to become cooler this process is called evaporative cooling while the space around plastic grass feels warmer because plastic grass is made of synthetic materials like polyethylene or nylon these materials do not contain or hold water so no evaporation occurs instead the plastic absorbs heat from sunlight and becomes hot it also radiates this heat to the surroundings making the nearby air warmer short type answer is the space around natural grass feels cooler because evaporation of water from the grass and soil absorbs heat from the surroundings the space around plastic grass feels warmer because it does not allow evaporation and instead absorbs and radiates heat students i hope you have understood it clearly if you still have any doubts go through the explanation once more i'm sure everything will become crystal clear like water okay next question number 4 is give examples of liquids other than water that evaporate so liquids other than water that evaporate easily are alcohol which is used in perfumes and sanitizers petrol kerosene acetone which is used in nail polish remover ether used in laboratories and hospitals these liquids are volatile meaning they change into vapor quickly at room temperature question number 5 is fans move air around creating a cooling sensation right it might seem strange to use a fan to dry wet clothes since fans usually make things cooler not warmer normally when water evaporates it requires heat not cold air what do you think about this so you can write the answer as a fan helps to dry wet clothes faster not by heating them but by increasing the rate of evaporation when water evaporates it needs heat from the surroundings but if the air around the clothes becomes saturated with water vapor evaporation slows down the moving air from the fan removes this moist air and replaces it with dry air allowing more water to evaporate thus even though a fan makes the air feel cooler it still helps clothes dry faster by speeding up evaporation question number 6 is usually when sludge is removed from drains it is left in heaps next to the drain for 3 4 days afterward it is transported to a garden or a field where it can be used as manure this approach reduces transportation cost of the sludge and enhances the safety of individuals handling it reflect upon it and explain how so when sludge is removed from drains it is often wet and full of harmful germs right if it is immediately transported the heavy water content makes it difficult and costly to carry and people handling it may come in contact with disease causing microorganisms by leaving the sludge in heaps near the drain for 3 4 days much of the water evaporates which reducing its weight and volume which lowers transportation costs during this time the heat of the sun kills many harmful germs making the sludge safer to handle later the partially dried and disinfected sludge can be easily transported and used as manure as it contains nutrients beneficial for plants question number 7 observe the activities in your house for a day identify the activities that involve evaporation how does understanding the process of evaporation help us in our daily activities 
So activities that involve evaporation include drying clothes under the sun, smelling food, being cooked even from another room and the drying of wet utensils after washing. Understanding the process of evaporation helps us make these activities faster and more efficient. Now question number 8 is how is water present in the solid state in nature? So water is present in the solid state in nature as ice, snow and frost. We can see solid water as ice on mountains and glaciers, snow in cold regions and frost on leaves or grass during winter mornings. Question number 9. Reflect on the statement, water is our responsibility before it is our right. Share your thoughts. So the statement, water is our responsibility before it is our right, means that before we claim the right to use water, we must take care to protect and conserve it. Water is essential for all living beings, but it is also a limited resource. Many people around the world struggle to get clean drinking water. If we waste or pollute water, we harm both nature and ourselves. Therefore, it is our duty to use water wisely, avoid wastage and keep water sources clean. Only when we act responsibly can everyone enjoy their right to safe and sufficient water. Question number 10 is, the seat of a two-wheeler parked on a sunny day has become very hot. How can you cool it down? So we can cool down the hot seat of a two-wheeler by pouring or sprinkling some water on it. The water will absorb heat from the seat and then evaporate, taking the heat away with it. This process of evaporation causes cooling and the seat becomes comfortable to sit on. That's all for today's students. Keep learning, keep exploring and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.